We are nothing if we're not flexible. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. But, uh, back to here. So our final award this evening is our Jan Pruitt Legacy Award. Uh, the Jan Pruitt Legacy Award is NTMP's special, it's supposed to be surprise award, but I heard the cat got let out of the bag uh, earlier this afternoon, but that's okay. We're still so thrilled to be able to give this award. It is given to a food bank employee or an employee of one of our partner agencies, and it honors NTMP's late CEO, Jan Pruitt, who led the food bank for 20 years. She had a passion for helping neighbors in need. It was really an inspiration to everyone she, she talked to. She was so passionate about what she did, and she cared not just about ending hunger, but also helping our communities thrive by ensuring everyone had access to their basic needs met. So this award was created in her memory six years ago, and obviously we're here in Jan's garden too, and it's very meaningful to us, and it's given to individuals who exemplify and embody the traits that Jan had. And it's also especially meaningful to me because I get the honor of selecting the awardee each year. So this year, the 2013 Jan Pruitt Legacy Award goes to Dr. Valerie Hawthorne. But I'm gonna say a lot of nice things about you. Oh God. So Valerie has a PhD from the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Cancer Biology and Cell Biology. And she spent the last seven years as our Director of Government Relations at the North Texas Food Bank. She left the food bank at the end of June to relocate to Houston, but her impact will certainly remain. In her role, Valerie served as a subject matter in anti-hunger policy, statistical data, and root causes, root cause drivers of hunger. She built our NTFB public policy and advocacy program. Valerie came to Dallas from the Houston Food Bank, and I'm extremely grateful to my colleague, who was the CEO down there, who introduced me to Valerie. And I can still remember us having coffee out at the shed at the farmer's market, and we were sitting there and talking about policy, and I came from the corporate environment and I understood the impact that government relations had. But I'll be honest with you, when I came into the nonprofit world, I really didn't understand, whenever I first came in, the impact. But side note here, if you look at the pandemic, the amount of support that we received from the government that helped us to be able to distribute food was about 46% of everything that we distributed. And if you look at this past year, what it's gone down to, it's 18%. So that's why policy is so important to what we do. We cannot do it without that. So initially she volunteered with us because I didn't have a position for her. And I said, I might be able to scrape up a little bit for like a, for a part-time position. So we started with the part-time, she helped to build it, but she was so passionate and cared so much about this area that she was willing to do it for free at first. But I said, I can't let you do this for free forever. And so we were able to build in a, an actual position into the North Texas Food Bank. So under her leadership, both the Houston and the North Texas Food Banks were awarded entry into the Feeding America's Advocacy Hall of Fame, and we have been recognized nationally as a result of her work and her approach to food policy work. She was accepted into the Feeding America's, food Amer Feeding America's Advocacy Academy and awarded a fellowship and recognition by the Tableau for Foundation for her implementation of database visualizations, which basically we take all that food insecurity data and customize it for each congressional district and every elected official so that they know where, how their area and their constituents are impacted by food insecurity, which is a very powerful tool for us overall. A classically trained scientist, Valerie helped secure funding and assisted in opening the inflammatory breast cancer clinic at MD Anderson. And the clinic was the first of its kind in Texas helping women fight breast cancer. A series of moves around the globe landed her in public policy and eventually hunger policy. As a skilled lobbyist, since 2014, Valerie has worked on multiple federal initiatives in cooperation with other policy leaders, including the Child Nutrition Reauthorization, the Emergency Food Assistance Commodity Program, Commodity Improvement with the American Commodities Distribution Association, uh, the Protection of Nutrition Education at Schools, 
and the farm bill, which I talked about earlier, which is up for reappropriation. At the state level, she's helped us increase that produce funding in the state budget, fought against threats to accessibility for SNAP, and provided testimony and data visualization for many of our legislative offices in support of some of the bills that we were trying to seek to help fight hunger here in Texas. She also brought a heart of service to everything that she did here at the North Texas Food Bank and demonstrated time and time again the importance of each of our neighbors and keeping them at the center of what we do. During President Biden's Hunger Summit, Valerie personally escorted one of our neighbors to Washington, D.C., so her perspective could be heard. Another one of our neighbors once reported produce that had spoiled. Valerie heard about this, and not only did she stock up on fresh produce, she personally delivered it to the doorstep of this neighbor because she wanted to make sure that she had access to the produce that she needed and wanted to make sure that this person who lived in this rural part of the area had access to that fresh food. And just like Jan, Valerie always approached her work with a can-do attitude and spirit. And that was on full display during the start of the pandemic, whenever Valerie stepped in as our interim leader of our community partner relations team and provided the leadership to each team member as well as the National Guard as they executed an emergency mobile distribution plan to address the growing number of people facing hunger. It was all in and Valerie was all in. Locally, she served on the leadership team of the Dallas Coalition for Hunger Solutions and on the board of directors for the Dallas Development Fund. And she was appointed by the Dallas Public Facility Corporation by the Dallas City Council. So not only active in the food bank, but also active in her civic work as well. You know, the list of accomplishments just really goes on and on for Val. This is awkward. But that's why it sit there. I'll stop, but I want to say we know her here at the North Texas Food Bank among all of her accomplishments. We know her as a lifelong friend and a lifelong hunger advocate. And so I'm very honored to present to the Jan Pruitt Legacy Award to Dr. Valerie Hall. through all of this 
and I'm so grateful to other women leaders like Celia Cole that's here that fought to make that application go from 19 pages to two pages for that woman. So thank you so much for your leadership, Celia. We've been in this a long time together, and I'm glad to know you as a friend as well. So thank you, everybody, to the Food Bank, and um, I'm going to go sit down because I feel weird. Mm -hmm. so <laughs>